and welcome to this week's Caddo at the Chateau where my mother has already reached for a gift. She is extremely keen today for the little fingers tapping. And also we've got Andrew with us for I've the first time ever. In. Yes, you But have. I do love watching the Caddo. Yeah, so now the you're on the other side of, all of the world. So I'm excited to see what countries and places we've got from today. Well, where, where is this from, Mama? Is this is it, um... Oh, it's from Amazon. We're not going to get any information from the front other than Amazon's address. Well, let's see, okay. there'll be a little letter. Well, there'll be a little letter. Have you done this inside. before? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me oh, really how it works. Little letter. Dear Philip. Oh. oh. May you always enjoy this puppy company. That's so May sweet. May he watch over you and protect you from your fairy godmother, Sylvie. Thank you so much, Sylvie. That's wonderful. So what is it? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It's this little puppy. Oh God, I hope it's, it's a stuffed one and not, I was going to say, not a real soul. one, because otherwise he has no any food. <laughs> is it a pug? No. Oh. oh. It's as, as adorable. Uh, isn't he adorable? It's and I love so his little cute. bouncy concept. This is the sort of puppy I can fully get behind on you, Philip. <laughs> Oh, he's a lovely little thing. Oh, super soft. He's darling. He's really cute. Is that a, a, a St. Bernard pup? Is, is that what it's He does look a bit like a St. Bernard, doesn't right? he? Uh, he's from the Carl Dick collection, um, but no name. So what would you like to call him? Well, Carl. Carl. Dick. Carl. Was I think it? Carl's a more elegant name, don't Carl. you? Carl Richard. <laughs> Carl Richard. <laughs> yes, Carl Richard. <laughs> He's really gorgeous. He's very cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's not yours. Well, thank you so <laughs> much, Sylvie. Thank you. But you'll that let me kind. you'll let me play with him occasionally. Philip. Absolutely. We can live in our room. Or maybe we could get a real Saint Bernard next. Philip. Oh, the... Nice try. Really nice try. <laughs> Sylvie, thank you so much. Um, yes, thank you so much. Oh, it's darling. He will mm -hmm. be loved. He will be he's loved. Very he's very cute. Look at him. He's gorgeous. <laughs> he's beautiful. Little Richard. He's so quality, soft and fluffy. Let's show everybody the envelope because we have a lot of butterflies. Isn't that sweet? All of your followers are so creative. I know. It's actually quite amazing. The packaging is always so much oh, fun. More. Oh, there's butterflies all over the letter as well. That's so sweet. Oh. Dear Stephanie, greetings from Kansas City. Carl's helping me here. Your episode about going to the Richard. medieval fair inspired me to send you a gift from our local fair, which is called the Kansas City Renaissance Festival. It sounds kind of fun. Mm. Mm, you love that. Mm. Medieval fairs and Renaissance festivals are huge in America. We are privileged to have one of the longest running fairs here in Kansas City, having just celebrated its 45th year. The festival generally runs a full seven weekends each autumn, Wow. What started years ago as a small gathering to benefit the local arts institute has turned into a 22-acre site with over 200,000 people attending each season with nearly 150 artisans, 20 stages of entertainment and over 30 food stalls. It makes for quite the day. Watching you do your grocery shopping in a princess gown after the fair made me laugh. I myself may have once or twice been similarly anachronistically <laughs> dressed, going to pick up milk or grabbing a bite to eat at a nearby restaurant after a day at the fair. While this generally is met with strange looks, the festivals are common enough around here that most people figure it out and don't assume that I've entirely lost my mind. Mm. While nearly every city has their own festival, there are at least 10 festivals that are even larger than Kansas City's, with the largest being the Texas Renaissance Festival covering 50 acres and boasting half a million visitors each year. Given your enthusiasm for the fair you attended, I would strongly encourage all of you to make a trip to the US sometime while a large fair is going on. While I haven't been myself, I hear the New York Area Festival is great and it happens every September. I've included a copy of the programme from our festival this year and a birdhouse from a local fair artisan oh. that I spotted that I hope will find a home somewhere on the grounds of La Land. Ah, that's wonderful. With appreciation, Dondi, along with my aunt Carrie, who is also a fan of your channel. Dondi and Carrie, thank you. Oh, oh, this looks so much fun. Oh, wow. I didn't realise you had castles like that in Kansas. <laughs> looks a little bit like Carcassonne, actually, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, does. it does. Look at wow. that. That is just gorgeous. So there's a masquerade ball. Mm -hmm. So many booths for they food do and drink so entertainment. Well in America, oh, I know. It's always bigger, better. Fabulous. Look at the map. Look, the whole, whole village. It. It's a village. Wow. I would actually love to go. Philip, can you imagine? <laughs> I love the little map. Dorothy was from Kansas. Dorothy and Toto. 
Do you think they would have gone to the Renaissance? I imagine. Fair? I'm so curious about the birdhouse. I don't know how all this stuff gets here no. with the post in France. It's, it's an marvelous. absolute mystery that comes from so far. <gasps> Look at oh, this. This is gorgeous. That's beautiful. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, oh no. That is beautiful. Wow. It's oh. like a sort of gourd, isn't it's, it? It's like a yeah. pear. Out. I thought it looked like a pear with a little... Yeah, me it too. It does, but I think it, it probably is it's a gourd. It's gourd. It probably right. Oh, that's no, that's beautiful. Isn't that cool? It looks so natural. That's, yeah. I think that's oh, wow. beautiful. The birds, we love it. Mm. We really it is are. stunning. It could be good in the I, vegetable garden. What do you think? Yeah, fantastic in the vegetable garden. Uh, yes. It fits in so perfectly there. Oh, well, we'll give this to Pavlina and Kirsty and Umberline to find a spot in the vegetable well, garden. I think we'd better vet the spot. So, <laughs> I was thinking that. Yeah, I think we're all about the delegation stuff. Yeah, we're all about the delegation, and Mummy's all about the choosing the spot herself. Here you go, Mummy. Okay. You can choose you a spot. You will find the perfect <laughs> spot. <laughs> Put it where you, you, you can see it from your window, and then you'll get the birds going backwards and forwards. Hmm. Dondi and Carrie, thank you so much. I That's love gorgeous. it. Yeah, and I didn't know about gorgeous. These oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't understand. Gorgeous. Gord. It's oh. gorgeous. Yeah. No, it, there'll, there'll be more. There'll be more. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I love absolutely it. love it. I absolutely love it's it. Beautiful. And you know, I have been thinking actually, we should have plenty of. Uh, Nesting places. It's rewilding, isn't yeah. it? There's, yeah. there's a whole thing about this. Yeah. Oh, ah, yes. is this is another Amazon. Pack. Yes, there's no note with this one. It's just a parcel from England. Oh, from England. Scales and balances. A large kitchen postal scale. Philip just told me that this person who sent this has contacted, saying that uh, they want to remain anonymous and they want to be known simply as a parcel from England. So. Well, isn't that lovely? Look at this. <gasps> This is wonderful. That's marvellous because you've got useless scales. Yes, oh. actually our scales are not great. And I bought Look those at the ones. size of this. That's massive. That's wonderful. Well, what I like is the fact that you can put a whole pot on it without it yes. sort of balancing that's true. off the edge. Yeah. I was thinking get... more you can do all your posts because it's well, the post that's it, postal. Well. This is fantastic. It's stunning. Oh, God. And stainless steel. No, this mm. is kitchen. beautiful. A parcel from England, thank you very much. But, oh, hang on, I think we can try it straight away. See, those lovely English people. There we go, let's try. Oh, let's not put them Yes, in it. yes, yes. Oh, how much does that? Yeah, let's find oh. out. Zero. He weighs 35 grams. Wow. Oh. Well, I'm glad we got oh, these are wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> I love them. Sorry, we got a bit distracted there for a minute. We went down a rabbit hole. Uh, but a we now know that England. Carl weighs 35 grams. Well, that's got to be one of the best gifts. His I've name seen. is Richard. Sorry, no, I thought it was called Carl Richard. I got oh, that's confused. true. I thought he was staying anonymous. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Thank you, Apostle. But the weather sent England. this. This is marvellous. It is marvellous, and we will be using it every day. So a huge thank you. When I'm allowed thank to come and cook, I will do use to it. Stop yeah. this? On, off, there. There we go. Oh, you got into fluid ounces, Mummy. You did very well. Okay, you're going to be very pleased to know the next parcel does have an address. It's from North Carolina. Lovely. And there is a note, and there's one for you, Philip. Ooh. Stephanie Philip, Natty Amory, the core four or fab four? Question mark. Hmm. And all their answers. Hello and greetings from North Carolina. I trust you've already received the edibles from inside this package. <laughs> to wit, 40 funny bones, 40 chocolate Twinkies, and two bags of the delicious deep fried carbohydrate devil, four oaks, hush puppy mix, a North Carolina delicacy. We That's saw what we those. Out yesterday. We haven't used it yet, and we were talking about they getting together amazing. to make them together. They look so good, don't how, they? How wonderful is that? I sent these things because I found your channel during the dreadful pandemic, like so many, many others. It has been great fun to watch, and I'm incredibly thankful for the delightful distraction. Of course, each edible has a story. The Hush Puppies are a North Carolina delicatessen. Yes, I said delicatessen, and you'll understand why shortly. I hope one day you can come here and enjoy some fresh ones made with what my father would call that southern touch. Loosely translated, this means deep fried in lard and sprinkled with something called fat back. Do yourself a favour and don't ask what that is. <laughs> oh no, but it sounds I wonderful. Want to go and eat it. I want to go and eat it. <laughs> that Southern American food is wonderful, isn't it? The funny bones and chocolate Twinkies need a bit more explaining. Like you, I'm a content creator. I started out as a bankruptcy attorney and transitioned to creating personal finance courses, 
books, videos and the like back in 2015. However, the pandemic changed my mind about the kind of content I was creating and set me on an entirely new course of action. You see, while you have the chateau and loads of witty charm, I have a ridiculous sense of humour and Spanish in-laws who say hysterical and outrageous things. I have no family that do things like that, so I, I, I can't even imagine such a thing. <laughs> can lend you You're a card, <laughs> I married my wonderful husband in 2005. In 2010, we moved from the NC coast to be closer to his parents who were in their 70s at the time. We now live about 10 minutes away from them, and so we meet once a week for dinner. In 2017, I started recording these dinners in a bit of a clandestine manner on my iPhone, with the thought that one day I might write a book and share this hilarity with the world. Who knew the pandemic would clobber us a few short years later? While we were all stuck at home, a friend suggested my sister-in-law Juliette and I start a podcast about our Monday night dinners with my in-laws. I agreed right away because I knew I had a boatload of recorded material to draw from. At the time, no one knew I had been recording the dinners, though my husband suspected I was up to something. And so, Everyday Macaroni, the podcast, was born. And what a great name Everyday <laughs> Macaroni is. This, this person sounds fantastic. The first four episodes were recorded socially distanced in my living room before I had the right equipment or any idea what I was doing. Since then, we continue to get better and better every time we record and post a bi-monthly episode, just like anyone else who starts an endeavour before they are ready. We've also started recording them on camera and posting them on our YouTube channel called Everyday Macaroni, of course. Most importantly, we have so much fun doing it and entertaining our listeners with our family's hijinks and adventures. It's a real hoot. A few months ago, we recorded an episode called Everybody Loves Ronald. It's about how my husband is my in-law's favourite child, much to Juliette's chagrin. In that episode, Juliette tells a story about how her parents had a drawer in their kitchen that they would stuff with funny bones and chocodiles whenever they knew Ron was getting ready to come home from college on break. You may guess that Juliet was never allowed to eat them. So I included some funny bones for all of you to enjoy, except Philip because they have peanut cream inside. I couldn't find actual chocodiles, so I got the next best thing, chocolate Twinkies. Philip can't eat these either because they're made with eggs. Sad face. Uh -huh. We are lucky that we have Al and Lita, my husband's parents, who are now in their 80s and still full of laughter in life. I think about you and Mummy all the time when I'm working on the podcast. I know you will appreciate it because of your similar relationship. Al and Lita's 1940s Spanish take on life is constantly entertaining to me. You really can't make this stuff up, starting with Lita's father putting his mother's corpse into a taxi to take her to her own house in the next time over to avoid paperwork. Don't worry, she died of natural causes, I swear. It's also fun to hear Lita mispronounce words like delicacy. She always said delicatessen. She is by far the best character in the podcast and she reminds me so much of Mummy, only with red hair and speaking Spanish. My goal is sort of similar to yours, I think, just to bring beauty, happiness and joy to the world by entertaining people with stories and laughter. I can't think of a better way to do that than to let people have a peek into our dining room every Monday night. After all, you can never have too much joy. Sincerely, Joy. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to visit. Smiley face. We'll have to listen to it. Everyday macaroni. It sounds so, wonderful. I know. Yes. That sounds hilarious. I, I like the name. Yeah. Everyday macaroni. Mummy, you open Phillips. Unfortunately, the porcelain dish that was so much is so beautiful um, arrived broken. Uh, Joy is written. Put, you see, three bits, but it's such beauty. It's yeah, yeah it, it was it very, very top. beautiful. And Joy wrote, I bought this porcelain dish 30 years ago. I wrapped it in men's boxes, clean and never worn, I swear, because my husband, who has moved many times, has a habit of grabbing whatever is handy to wrap breakables in whenever he is packing to move. The joke is when you're unpacking, you might find your coffee mugs wrapped in your underwear. <laughs> Cringe. I also found it funny that the image printed on this underwear is the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, go buck naked. Go back. Well, oh, that may explain this. Well, Philip's got some underwear. This, this yeah. is the new buck naked underwear, like wearing nothing at all. Oh, all right. obviously that was the well, wrapping. No, yes. It's a wicking diamond knit. Oh, Ooh. lovely for summer. Oh yeah, actually, it will all be breathing. That is very nice. Gosh, mm. and I like the cracking on them too. No, it's lovely. It's cracking, isn't it? That's a cracking cracking. <laughs> yeah. It's about so I'm sure either you or Amory are going to enjoy these very much. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To whom it fits, basically. <laughs> you can a, have a, a boxer short trying on session that's after this. That's going to be a fun afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, I've gone home. Well, hygiene's ahead of us. <laughs> but there's something oh, else there's more. as well. 
Oh, for Stephanie, this one's for you. Stephanie, let's have a look. This picture is a screenshot I took when I was watching a Chateau Unwrap video and paused it to get a snack. When I came back to finish the video, this was the image on my screen. I burst out laughing and decided I'd make a few copies for you all to laugh at and enjoy. I also know you're always looking for frames, so you can either keep the photo in it or use it for something else. I love the gold bamboo style of the frame. Not expensive, just cute. Just like this stuff. Not expensive, but cute. <laughs> <laughs> you just call my girlfriend cheap. <laughs> Not expensive, it's different. Oh, no, it's lovely, Frank. Oh, look at that screenshot. <laughs> I don't know what we... That raises a lot of questions, that oh, screenshot. Oh. <laughs> We'd all turn to the drink by this point. I don't know what had happened. <laughs> it is a beautiful frame, actually. And Natty and I are... Maybe we're telling Amara off? I don't know. We've both got a finger uh, up, both of us. It must have oh, been the Valentine's Day well, special. he's drinking, so you must have been telling him. Yes, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh. And I do love the frame. The frame is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Joy, thank you so much. You have brought us joy, and I'm sure yes. you bring a lot of other people joy with everyday macaroni as well. Oh, I look forward to Good listening. Day. Yeah, absolutely. I do think there's a note in here, but this is from Teresa, and a lot of you who watch these regularly will know that Teresa has sent us lots and lots of gifts in the past, including very cool outfits that her mother used to wear, huge hats when we were in England, we had all the different hats, and then more recently here, lots of wigs. So this is from yeah. Teresa again. Oh, oh no, it's amazing. Gosh, look, this is lots of stuff. There is a little piece of paper here. Look. Oh, oh beautiful. hope you can use these peacock inspired tablecloths for your large gatherings oh. with their gold color versus the blue tones. Teresa. What lovely writing. It's yeah. amazing. Very pen. pretty, very pretty writing. Well, let's have a look at this. <gasps> Oh wow. This is huge. Oh, oh wow, there's several. There's lots of different ones. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, oh they're really big. Well, this is why I'm here today to have yeah, a, large, we needed a large stretch. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so that's cool. Stunning. Oh my goodness. I love that. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and, but you've got multiple. One, two, three. Oh, that's ideal for you. Three, you have. four. Oh goodness. Four big ones. Four huge ones. And, and they're all matching. As well. I think they're beautiful. Yeah, they're all matching. They're all exactly the same. Yes. They're all Indian, aren't they? Well, yes. Why people find all these lovely I don't things. know. I don't know. I never find things like Oh, this. you can make such a pretty table with those yeah. for them. Such a pretty table. And this may have to be refolded by someone who knows how to fold. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. We'll have Sorry, a little Teresa. folding someone session will fold afterwards. It it's like very well read. Oh, yeah. Oh, another one. It's a little plate. Such a pretty plate. That can go to the blue and white collection. So That's pretty. Lovely. Lovely. That really is lovely. And it's such a perfect size for a biscuit. Yeah, it is. Just the perfect biscuit. Would you like one of my biscuits? biscuits? Look, we can try it out. It would look a lot better on there, wouldn't it? There you go, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Meant to be. It's darling. Okay, I'll put this down because we have a beautiful necklace here I, as I'll well. I'll look after that for you. Thank you. <laughs> it goes with what you're wearing. Beautiful. All porcelain. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. A little bit of kitchen camera porcelain jewelry. Porcelain beads. Right, I shall put it on straight away. That's a nice set. Oh, yes, lovely. very pretty. Lovely. I'm yes. very pleased with, uh, with this dress. I haven't worn this dress before. It's having its first outing, not the first outing of its life, but its first outing with me on Caddo at the Chateau today. This is a vintage dress that you bought years ago. So I was doing costuming for a musical that I yes. was in, and um, I bought that one, and we I don't think we ever ended up using it, but I still yeah. had it lying around at my parents' house somewhere. Yeah, I love so, it. It's nice. Well, it's really it's really I'm feeling very sort of Laura Ashley today. Touching your life, but the it, <laughs> no, I know, they're very cool. I really like this I think it would maybe even look better if you undo like the top one or two buttons. Oh, would it now? Yeah. Would it look better? I think so. Well, you, can, you can do that this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Is that matching? Matching plate, because I just yes. see another plate there. Oh my goodness. No, it's not a plate. It's not? No, oh, no Philip, it's one of the oh, oh, garlic. really cool oh, garlic great. ones. You These need are wonderful. That. Yeah. Lovely we color. have one we in the We bought one in Germany. Uh, but you haven't got one, and this is wonderful, Mummy. With some fun yes. Nutmeg. Lovely. I always use for nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg as we well. We used it for, yeah, mm -hmm. we used it for lots of things. It was very good with the nutmeg. Oh, these are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. And there's still something else in there. You always need for garlic in France. Really? Mm. Yes. Can't live without garlic. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. That's very nice. Yeah, it's actually, it's a couple. 
If you hold it very oh, wow. carefully, you can see there's a little couple on it. Oh, that's clever. Where does that come from? It's Chinese. Okay. 24 karat gold and platinum hand decorated. My Good goodness. Grief. Wow. Stunning. Yeah, amazing. I'm going to find it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, you can just it's see It's a bit Philip and you, really, there. isn't it? That's what I thought. I thought, well, it's period. an uncanny, it's a bit period. uncanny portrait of Philip and But me. you like to be a bit period, isn't it? Oh, yes, we do. Well, I mean, look at me. I look as though I've just stepped out of the 1987. <laughs> and these are fabulous. Now, imagine Maybe. a summer Maybe. dress in this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's a lovely colour. And Philip's going to like this one. The look tartan. That. It's just such a gorgeous colour of tartan. Mm -hmm. It's such an interesting wow. fabric. It's, it's like... Uh, Very thin. Sheer, yeah. Yeah, hang on, let's have a little look. Oh, oh. look at that. Oh, that's really fine. That makes the most beautiful skirt. Imagine a dress like in this. A, yeah, exactly. Sort of 1950s styling, or like but all a, in part. A of. summer kilt for but Jerry? You would, you would need oh, a transparent summer kilt. No, 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 not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Lined, I meant. No, 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 no. With a nice linen lining. Almost too ridiculous. I love I would really This one's gorgeous as well. Beautiful. I just never have time to make clothes anymore, but I really enjoy it. I'm inspired by this one to make a dress. Thank you so much, Teresa, once again. These are all such good fun, wonderful things, and they've sparked a lot of inspiration and creativity. What a lovely lady. Yeah, so thank you. This is the last gift of the day, and it's arrived all the way from Miami. And originally, Mummy had it on her lap, and we couldn't see her, so Andrew has taken it I've been roped in for holding large pieces of fabric and big boxes. That's why you're here, Andrew. And for getting things down from the top shelf the later top when, shelves. We, when we need to. That's oh, a lovely peacock. Oh, that's gorgeous with the little diamonds on. Wishing you all much love and blessings, Chris. Lovely envelope too. I love how people send oh, these yes. gorgeous letters to you. I know, it it's makes it very time. lovely and easy to read as well. Dear Stephanie and lovely Lalanders, I began watching the Chateau Diaries in the spring of 2020 and soon after became a patron. Thank you so much. Like many, I find it a joy to watch and appreciate all the wonderful progress that has been made. I'm an interior designer living in Miami, Florida. While it is truly a beautiful and sun-filled city, it lacks a historic architecture I so much love and value. Though of course you have amazing art deco architecture yeah, there, and that's just wonderful as well. Your vlogs have allowed me the opportunity to journey through the restoration of a historic building like La Lande, and for this I am truly grateful. I cannot wait to see the chapel restoration. No, mm. we can't wait either. Your enthusiasm, positivity and grateful heart are inspiring. It is lovely to see how wonderfully you work with Philip, Natty, family, friends and volunteers. I'm enclosing some leftover fabric and trim, which I hope you'll be able to use for cushions in the chateau. The cocktail napkins are for the peacock corner and napkin rings for a lovely spring or summer garden party. Oh. Philip, just like a mere cat. <laughs> Finally, I included a pair of shoes I never wore that I thought you might like. I do not know your size. If they don't fit, please feel free to give them to someone else. I'm sure we've got a lot of different sizes in this chateau. Wishing you continued success and blessings, love and hugs. Chris, but Chris, I remember you because since you wrote this letter, we have met, you came to La Lande and we had a lovely time with you. And since then, I'd like to thank you because you've sent me so many wonderful wallpaper samples to, to give us inspiration for the Chateau, Scalamandre and Schumacher, oh. wonderful American companies. They're beautiful. Uh, so beautiful. And they really have given us a lot mm -hmm. of inspiration. Philip yeah. and I have been like pouring oh, over them fabulous. for ages. So thank you so much. Wow, I'm very much looking forward to seeing this. It's to, very heavy. I who, can who to will the shoe fit. <laughs> it's a small shoe, maybe mummy. Ooh. Oh, oh, mama. oh, they're very, very nice. nice. Well, that's beautiful. But, well, no, they're more glitzy than you think. They're Roger Vivier. Oh, wow. Who designed all of the shoes for Christian Dior. Um, wow. Yes. They're beautiful. They're size 38, mummy, which actually is your size. Yes, but my foot is so Try. Much. It's worth trying, mummy. My but they look quite they big. Incredibly beautiful. <gasps> But I've got a very white foot. Oh, mummy, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely. I knew it. Well, perfect. I knew it. Wow. Cinderella, you face. can come <laughs> to the ball. Wow. Here, put the other one. And they're on. flat. No, no, I've got them on, but I don't know if I can walk. Well, we're going to find out. They're very oh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my mum, beautiful. They're stunning. Wow. I that's cannot so believe that. Chris, I can't believe you sent those shoes. They are beautiful. Well, 
that's going to be you for the cocktails in the evening. Yes. <laughs> Gosh. They're gorgeous. Well, here are the cocktail napkins. Oh, and these ones oh, from Caspari. I love the Caspari ones. This is oh, part yes. of the Pierre Frey collection it is. Caspari. I love those with the monkeys. Me too. And these as well, the Chatsworth Beautiful. ones. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. I love them. They're pretty. And the fabric. Yeah, she's got incredible taste. And this is, this is incredible. Oh, oh that's for Natty. Let, let's take this out and put that aside for Natty. Philip, you're going to go crazy on these This fabrics. is why the box is so I can't wait to see. So we don't okay, want to start yeah, at the top. Yeah, let's start at the top. I thought I was. Uh, but... <gasps> you're not seeing. You're, so, oh! you're naughty. Is that embroidery? It's a rabbit is what oh, it is, Oh, look at Philip. that. It's a rabbit. Oh, that's wonderful. And a, a deer. Wow. No, this is, this is extraordinary. Is that like an embroidery? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. there's a leopard, there's a leopard. Oh, there's a leopard. Look at that. It's that's beautiful. Stunning. This oh, is so beautifully I made. I love it so much. And there's a monkey as well, near your hand. Oh, that's beautiful. A monkey near yes. my hand, yes. Okay, I don't know who makes this, this fabric. I would love to know because it's just so beautiful. Is it upholstery fabric? Yeah, it's very, very It'd be smooth. lovely for cushions. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, now these look yes. stunning. The trims. Oh, did I hear a plate? Oh, no, yeah. no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I think, I think it's broken. broken. Oh. I think there's I a hear. broken. I hear. Oh, dear, what a mm. shame. Would you want to do this now? Oh, that is such a pity, because this was so pretty. It's the handle that's broken. Oh, Actually, a, it might video. be fixable. There's a fully complete. Ah. Oh. I think so the others might be fixable. Together. Okay. It's a miracle oh. that this one survived. Oh, wow. That's, That's lovely. Now, I would like to know what it's for. I it's expect toast. napkins. I was oh, wondering, toast. Toast. I was wondering about toast, but then I don't know. Or is it for letters? I, I thought it. napkins no, no, and then just like Chris, a little cocktail. can you write to us and let us know what they're usually for? We can use it for anything. Yeah. Yeah. I think exactly. these will be fine. A little yeah, these I think so like too. They will be fine. They're quite clean breaks, Philip, mm. where it's just the top part's gone and this one's yes, still the same. Yeah, exactly them. the same here. Yeah. There's no little bits. And there's four of them. Oh dear. Okay, let's put those to one side. I think we can fix those. I think for a breakfast, with uh, each person having their own little folded piece of toast fun. with a little egg in front, yeah. it would be really pretty. Yes. Look at this it's trim. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, but the width of it. The yes. colour. Now, what shall we do with that? Beautiful. Uh, you can see she works oh, in Florida, stunning. can't you? Yes. They are Florida colours yes. and she's light and... Um, uh, chic and um is that think, how you imagine florida being i've right? been to people very rich people's house in florida it's very this yes really yeah, they love the love beautiful it. trims absolutely that's what there's a very you. big famous curtain maker in florida and they're very very expensive tens of thousands and it's oh, all this type all of stuff yes. imagine that oh beautiful. well i think just not even a cushion oh yeah i'm just loving everything look at this one that's stunning oh, wow Beautiful and the colours again. Beautifully made. They're so elegant. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah, see, again, it's just it's so elegant. Yeah. Because it's light and delicate. Mm -hmm. It's all very top line things. Isn't oh yeah, it? you can tell. Stunning. This is just the best of the best. The napkin rings. Oh, they're beautiful. I can't believe it. Wow. I've never seen anything like it. No. It's so delicate. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to upgrade your napkins. <laughs> <laughs> These are so wonderful. I think there's, there's more lots, of them. There's lots. Oh my goodness. I hope they're okay. They are stunning. We've unwrapped all of them. There are quite a few breakages because they're so delicate, but they're all fixable. And there's three different types. There's one set of white and purple, three of these, three of the yellow and purple, and six of, I think my favorites, these ones. But just to show you what the breakages are like, it's things like this. Where the breaks are very, very clean. So actually it's going to be very easy. Philip and I are going to sit this afternoon with a cup of tea and the porcelain glue and put these back together again because I think we will use these a lot. They're yes. just so gorgeous. They're like, really beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen such extraordinary napkin rings. I didn't mm -hmm. know they existed. They're perfect for some summer garden party. Are they? Okay, we'll put these down very carefully before looking at... You're a very oh, lucky girl. No, you're not looking, don't <laughs> see. <laughs> Are you allowed to peek on the other other people that you peek in this, Caddo? Sometimes I have the parcel and then no one can oh, stop me. Oh, gosh. 
We've put them all down very, very carefully, and apparently I'm now allowed to carry on the kitchen. Yes. You're very yeah. strict. Well, I think, a very strict. I, I know I should have been here months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh, frame. oh wow! It's an Italian frame. I love those but colours. The neck is even stunning. I know, I know. Sweet. It's all sort of velvety. Oh wow! Mm, gosh. Soft. Those colours. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's a pair? Oh wow! <gasps> oh. oh. Oh, Philip likes oh. this one even more. Oh, that is. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah, see, this is more my colours and mm -hmm. this is more your colours. True. Well, one yeah. either side. Oh, beautiful. Autumn. Very, very, very nice. What They're very pretty. What are you going to put in them? Well, There's a first yeah. We'll have fun looking mm -hmm. for something. Now you can go. Oh, now you can go. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Look oh, at the oh, that's vases fun. and pots. Oh, I love the colours. Me too. I like the texture. Yeah, the texture, that's what yes. I was looking at. Yes, it's very and that's, unusual. And that's what's Beautiful. unusual about this one yeah. as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, very tactile. It's very linen y. Well, it's the quality you see. Yeah, yeah. it is. Quality, that's right. Isn't it? And the colours. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Oh, well, here we can. Anna French. I love Anna French fabrics. So here we know because it's got a selvage. Yes. But with the others. Oh, look at it. Oh. oh. Oh, and it's a huge beautiful. print. Oh, that's <laughs> and a big piece oh. of fabric. Yeah. Oh, I had it upside down. I'm sorry. Have my, you? Yeah, my pair's bottom was upside down. Oh, that's the worst when your pair's bottom is upside down. It's I struggle beautiful. with it consistently. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is gorgeous. I love the colour pink. Oh, it's lovely. It's such inspiration. Yeah. Now, oh, wow. look at that colour. That, Almost like a Manuel Canavas type colour that I've got. Oh, look at that! Oh, it oh look at you! Yes. Oh, feeling very proud. <laughs> oh wow, two pieces. Oh, do two cushions with Absolutely. them. Oh, that'd be lovely. <gasps> oh, the strips. We go look, but you can make two cushions Long like cushions. that. You see? Yes. Like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. That'd be perfect. Just gorgeous. Like the pineapple as well. Yeah, that's true. That's you could true. also could do, do four. four. That's yes. a good idea, actually. Oh, Lovely for a bed. Love this. Mm -hmm. Just love it. It's beautiful. A gorgeous Ooh, stripe. No, that's lovely. Oh. Mm. I can see a nice suit in that for summer. Actually, I can totally see you in a little short mm -hmm. suit with a jacket and shorts. Oh, yes. That's and a waistcoat. Philip, yeah. And a trip to the Riviera. Yes. <laughs> That's a bit I can get behind. With a white hat. Yes. And you could do the band as well with the fabric. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. We have blend to the say, outfit. My favourite one is the last one. Which is the last one? The one I was trying to grab oh, at the very beginning. Goodness. Does that match the uh, the trim one? Uh, it's similar. It's very similar colours. Um, there's the trim here. Okay. But I think that they're too similar to match. Do you see what I mean? No. It, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it not quite. There's more but green in it. This, can you imagine? An armchair wow. in this, or a headboard. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, headboard. Yeah. This is lovely. This is too soft. beautiful for words. It's just You're a very lucky stunning. girl. I am. Yeah. Yeah. I am. But every with week I'm a things. very lucky yeah. girl with all of this. You're all so, so incredibly generous. It is extraordinary. None of us at Leland can believe the amount of generosity and kindness we've received from all of you. Chris, I cannot thank you enough. We are in love with every single one of these fabrics. I, I don't know which my favourite is, but I think you're absolutely right. We have to do an armchair in this. Thank you to all of you who sent us such beautiful gifts today. And thank you to everyone watching. It's because of you that we're able to send the ad revenue from this channel to a different charity every month. And I also want to remind everybody that we're no longer publicly opening gifts that arrived after the 1st of June at the Chateau. We are, however, still opening all of the gifts that arrived before that. And we still have several months of Caddo at the Chateau days. Maybe you'll join us again in future. It's been oh, then we can very have some nice. More organization in, in I, you do whip us into shape and you stop me from peeking. So there are several more months of Caddo at the Chateau to come. And we hope that you'll join us for those. Lots and lots of love to all of you. And I can't wait to see you again next week. Take Bye from Lelands. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.